Hello, Gamer Nome is back, and you're about to watch a Noob to Pro video using the rubber foot. Where the actor slam on the dancing forward, there's your slam, there's the dunk. Okay, so I will be starting this video with a question Did you watch the trailer? If yes, we all know that the rubber foot will be having a revamp, so as you can see, at level 1 mastery, there are no skills. But yes, they included a tap. There you go, a left click. Let's try it on the bandits. Guys, this is multi-target, but the damage is not that high. But guys, take note, this is just a tap or a left click. Not bad, guys. And the cooldown is really short. Okay, so at level 10, we're gonna leave this area. Take note that our first skill, the cannon, will be unlocked at Mastery 25. Okay, so next island, the jungle. Our target, the monkeys. I almost forgot to mention, the range is kinda far, which is good. Target level here is level 15. After that, Gorillas. Still guys, no new skill. Again, the mastery needed is Master 25. We cannot use our high ground strategy because kinda hard to aim from above when using the tap skill. So we're gonna defeat them in the ground. You only need 2 quests to reach level 20. And after that, next target is the Gorilla King. Here we can go high ground because we only have one target, so just keep on using your left clicks until you defeat him. Okay, that's very easy. We are going to keep on defeating this boss. Yes, if you want, you can do server up or just wait for it to spawn and leave this island when you reach level 30. Mastery check. Three more masteries to unlock our first skill. Next island, the pirate village. Our target, the pirates. I also noticed that you can get items such as a scrap metal on defeating mobs in this island. So we've already unlocked our first skill, the cannon. Here it is. There you go. Let us do some damage check. That's the top, 343. Now for the cannon, 502. So the cannon is stronger, not bad. We're gonna grind here until level 40. And we got another item. Guys, do you know how to use these items? Comment it in the comment section because I haven't had enough time to figure it out because I'm busy grinding. Next mob, the Brutes. So guys, you're gonna level up here 15 times. In our case, 14 times. There you go, and after that, the boss in this island, Bobby, or Buggy the Clown, the fake leader of the Cross Guilds. Guys, if you know the Cross Guilds, comment it on the comment section. And let's see who's reading the One Piece manga. Okay, so level 75, eight masters to go to unlock the smash skill. So let's head to the desert and start defeating the desert officers. Just a few more quests before we can start smashing our enemies. So there you go, 50 mastery. So far, I am loving the skills. We are going to grind here until you reach level 90. Guys, 30 more masteries for the slingshot. Oh, I almost forgot the stats. Here you go, blocks fruits 190, 40, 40 melee defense. Okay, so frozen village, don't forget to buy the enhancement and start defeating the snow bandits. Guys, you won't be unlocking a skill here. But at 105, you can start defeating the Yeti. Just use your tap to defeat the Yeti. Remember how we defeated the Gorilla King? Guys, we're getting stronger. Yes. Yes, I am growing very strong. One more thing, you can get the item Yeti Fur from killing the Yeti. No! No! Bro, shout out. Sorry to Eldan Malakas. I know you're Filipino because of your name. Sorry, Lods. Hindi ko sinasadya yun. Ikaw yung lumapit, okay? So we're gonna leave this area at 120. Next stop, Marine Fortress. Target, Chief Petty Officers. There you go. So guys, we're gonna grind here. 10 levels only. But guys, there is another flexor. Guys, he's using the Asidium Rifle. Did you see that? He, he even used... I think that's Superhuman. So yeah, he oofed us. Well, let's just focus on grinding. And finally, Slingshot. Guys, check this out. This one really looks cool. I've seen Monkey D. Luffy use this skill lots of times in the anime. Okay, so at 130, you can start defeating Vice Admiral. You guys, technique here, use your skills, right? Dodge, his skills, and use your own skills, okay? There is no wall strat here, but don't worry, we will unlock our third skill, the Rush. This skill has the highest damage output in all of your skills. There you go. Take note that you will be doing server hop in order to level up here really fast. 
Target is 220 for the stats, 490 block fruits, 85 melee and defense. Next up, the prison. Just a reminder, not every player is bully. For example, this one. So I saw him uh, fighting the warden, so I started attacking the warden too. Usually, other players will get mad, but for him instead, we help each other defeat the warden. Yes guys, even though he hit me, I know, that is not intentional. So there you go guys. Gamer Gnome, is that a technique? Look for a friend? No. Warden guys, all of the bosses here just wall strat. See that? They cannot attack you here. So just defeat them using the wall strat and that's it. Same strategy with the Chief Warden. There you go. How about Swan Gamer Gnome? He has long range attack. Guys, that's the same. Use your skills when you're done. Just create distance, okay? Okay, so server hop again, target level 350. For our next island, the Magma Village, there you go. So our target here is the Magma Admiral, Akainu, Akainu, huh? I know you. You oofed my brother, so we're gonna defeat him. Remember the strategy with the Vice Admiral, that's the same, use your skills, dodge and use your skills. There's no easy way here, but we can defeat him. So 425, we're gonna move on to the underwater city, guys. This boss is really easy, okay? Hit him, lure him. Again, wall strat, same with the prison bosses, and that's it, okay? No more tips here, server hop until level 500. Next up, Skylands. Use your Z skill to destroy the clouds. Next target is the Whisper. So guys, technique, lure, stone strat. We call this the stone strat. There you go, he cannot hit you here. See that? His bazooka is useless. After that, use your skills. There you go. And after this, there's a high chance that he will use his bazooka. So create distance and use your skills, okay? So at 575, I tried to start defeating the Thunder God, but I don't know why his skill, his uh, Thunder skill is damaging us since we're rubber. So I decided to go back to the Whisper and grind until, oops, oh no guys, this dude has Electric Claw. He's from the Third Sea. Anyway, don't worry, check our mastery 224. Last mastery in order for us to unlock the transformation gear 2, right? Okay, so let's head to the Fountain City and start defeating the Gali Pirates. Guys, there you go. We will be unlocking our gear 2nd or transformation. But again, okay guys, now let's fight them, okay? This dude, safe hoods, okay? Safe hoods. Okay, that's 1-0. <laughs> Let's check this out. We were able to hit him with a slingshot. Okay, he tried running, but again, we have the second gear. There you go, and let's oof this enemy with our rush. Okay, guys. Now, I'm going to show you all the new skills of the Transform Form Gear 2. So, first off, our tap. This is our tap, not bad. One for damage. This is the cannon. Two, one damage. The smash, two, four. Not bad. And the rush, okay? Oh, almost 6,000. This is the slingshot, okay? And that's it, guys. All our skills. You can surfer hop here until you reach level 700 or stay with the Gallip Pirates. So, guys, do you want me to continue this video? If this video reaches 200,000 views, let's do it, okay? So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Here are the final stats. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.